Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 12. All right, the previous episode. We, uh, Ren got captured and Ren and also his sister as well. And uh, our, like, you know, like, uh, Yo and all of his friends, they arrived at China and they broke him out. And now we're going to fight with N. One thing that I really loved in the previous episode is it kind of shows us the, it gives us the foundation of the actual bond that is creating between uh, um, Ren and Yo. So it, it really like, you know, like he, he like Ren has been a character who is has uh, gotten a very messed up childhood and kind of he has been struggling for a long time. So Yo, who is who was kind of in a similar situation being ostracized by other people he obviously can understand the most about <coughs> ren and so he can give the most support to him and i'm really glad that ren is actually accepting his help like that's one thing that i'm really glad about because usually in these type of situations uh, most of the characters like you know uh, like in, when they fa face a situation like this they kind of reject the help helping hand that you know the main character gives them because of pride and whatnot so i'm really glad that ren is actually accepting the help that yo is giving and he is like you know like like you know he is happy to become his friend in a way like obviously he won't say that you know he won't say that uh, directly but you know his mannerisms and everything kind of indicate that he is like thankful to yo so that's one thing that I really liked about, you know, the whole situation because I was under the impression maybe he's not going to take his help and I was really surprised when he really, you know, when he took his help. So that's a big plus point. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, yeah, guys, anyways, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 12 of Shaman King. So yeah, I'll be putting subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right. So here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of got a glimpse of that. All right. Oh no! Wasn't that Ryu? The silhouette! It looks like Ryu! Okay, what's... So obviously this is like I can't said this before but it's kind of like a, you know one of the mid bosses I think so because he he's supposed to be pretty strong like I doubt anyone like you know as strong as him has ever faced Yo and Ren before so I'm quite curious how they are even going to stop him like you know like I don't know like let's see All right, let's see. Oh, great. What is that? Who? Wait. When the winning? Or maybe not. Oh, great. We still haven't even reached N and this What? Oh no! Oh. 
वो द मास्टर ओ नो ये ओ माय गॉड दैट दैट ओल्ड गाय ये नो हिज टेक्निक्स Oh. Oh my god. I was okay. So the red guy was really a Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. Oh. Oh god. Oh. This final. Wait, he's did, did she fix him up? I think so. Oh great. Um uh, you're underestimating. What's she doing? Oh so Hmm What this, The old guy was not like this he he looks pretty cocky now <laughs> you know he was pretty calm before when he integrated with jo oh satellite drum well that easy wait is that it what <laughs> it's too wait it was that easy to defeat him Oh my god this guy is <laughs> Yes too It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> looks <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It gets crazier. Wow. Oh great. Hey there. There you go. I think each and every one will need to fight to defeat this guy. I'm not sure if that will be even be enough. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. E. I'm deeply displeased. What? <laughs> What? He just stabbed the Oh 
Oh, well... Does he have some kind of regenerative power or something? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's... Oh my... How do you even defeat this guy? Um... Okay, Pyron, okay. Ah, uh, still not enough. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. One shot. Ha, huh, yeah, like He's fast. Oh wow. Tao, there's no Tao. Um, why is Yo not attacking? Where is he? Whoa! Is, is this some kind of illusion that they're fighting? Um... Oh god, how can you even defeat this guy? Like, I think he's a bit too difficult for this, like, you know, like, starting stage. Like, they're, they're just learning now. What the hell? Like, his head is floating. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. There must be some trick, you know? How can... <laughs> you still have to be punished. <laughs> it was the octopus. <laughs> he reduced hairstyle changes. <laughs> okay, it's really nice to see him saying that, you know. <laughs> He's just jealous, you know. <laughs> he 
also want some friends. So that. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> what what a what okay I, am i right is he really an illusion what Oh, okay, so his actual size is small. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, now he looks okay. Like, you know, like he was like a giant. So they didn't even know his how his father actually looked like. <laughs> Except for the master. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. I'm sure he's himself is pretty strong. Then why did his oversoul? What? That just sounds like an excuse. <laughs> Whoa, he's delusional. What the hell? He's crying, what? What? Oh my... Oh, so his problem is the same as Ren. Like, you know. Yeah, he's, he's just like Ren. Oh, that's a weird looking dragon. Purple spiral. Yeah, that's a part of life. Haha. <laughs> So I'm sure like you know this, this thing that Ren said just now that must have wavered N because otherwise I doubt he's capable of winning you know winning against N. So I'm sure like you know he again hesitated like this whole thing is the result of one's will. If it wavers it's over.
Oh. Oh, who are these? Yeah. What the? He takes out a gun? Oh, that's... That's a mom. <laughs> what? Now they're having a feast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pig's probably going to attack us. <laughs> uh, okay. Good and evil have it. Little meaning. Okay, she's saying that everything's subjective. In the balloon. Okay. The <laughs> foolish boy. <laughs> yeah, let's go home. Yeah, we have training to do, you know. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> he brings up the gun. <laughs> oh yeah, they also need to go back. <laughs> It'll take 10 more days again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's here. <laughs> What? Isn't that? Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, they're back. What? Oh no, <laughs> Bob. Oh my god. Okay, like, obviously, like, I, I, like, I knew, like, they probably wouldn't be able to beat him. And something, you know, must have, must happen. Uh, that would, like, you know, like, stop the fight. And that's what happened. And, 
uh, like obviously it's like it's impossible like how can you even beat a person who has been like the ruler of the place for so long he has so much experience and he, it's not like you know like he's there just for show like you know like he must have something special which kind of makes him the like you know the head of the uh, family so to defeat that person in this early stage would would be really a, like weird like if they somehow were able to like defeat him like i would feel weird so obviously like they were not able to defeat him technically but they were able to waver his determination down so that they can kind of get an upper hand and like that's what happened and <clears throat> like like now i think about it like th like like i think this is very unique to this anime i've i've never seen an anime which kind of do this like you know the whole thing of uh like one's own determination now you know like in this anime is probably you know you probably will be able to defeat someone who is miles above you if that person is waver uh, determination wavers okay that's the end you know and i i don't think any anime has this kind of thing like you know like there, there's always like you know in whatever anime we're seeing there's always a power level a power what do you call it a boundary which like you know like for example uh like in the beginning of a, like for example a shonen anime like uh, okay let me take an example in the beginning of a shonen anime for, take, just take naruto like you know when naruto was like uh, like he was just learning the like jutsus and all and he defeated zabuza at that moment if somehow pain came in he would not be able to defeat him how would he be even be able to defeat pain at that moment you know like this is like the boundary of power level now for this anime i think that's a bit different because if somehow you are able to waver the determination of the other person and you know like able to topple his uh, what do you call it his his uh, ideals and whatever he's thinking you know and make him uh, actually question himself you can probably win now there's a big disadvantage in this which is that you won't be able to defeat each and every person the person who are doing some questionable things who has some kind of conscience within him that actually is telling him that yeah whatever i'm doing is not correct you and you know like those the people only who have uh, like uh, what do you call it some confusion in their heart you will only be able to waver their determination and kind of win in a way if you are able to do that so like that's only possible here but if there's someone who actually believes what he do does and who is unwavering you know like be it evil or be it a good person like you know like if the if someone is like pure evil who thinks that yeah whatever i'm doing like you know i'm tormenting people i'm killing people i'm correct if there's someone like that obviously you cannot waver his determination you cannot win like that Similarly, if there's a good guy like that, you know, for example, let's take a shaman fight. If they're fighting and if there's a good guy who's way above them and who has like this unwavering determination, you also cannot win like this. So it's like, uh, you know, a kind of uh, chance thing. Like, you know, the people like, you know, like you might be able to defeat some people who are leagues above you if they have some kind of confusion in their heart. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it. So like, you know, like that's basically it in my opinion, because uh, like in this episode, I doubt they would have been able to win properly. You know, if if uh, if uh, N did not have any kind of well, like, you know, uh, confusion in his heart, you know, you know, like if he thought that, yeah, whatever I'm doing is correct and I'm going to do that, keep doing that. I doubt they would be able to win against him. His, wa uh, his determination wa wavered. That's why he lost. So like, you know, like I need to like, I always forget this thing, you know, like, uh, so I need to keep like, you know, like that's because like, you know, I've never seen an anime which kind of uses this whole thing of determination, wavering determination, like I actually equates to the power level. This is, I think this is the first anime that I've seen something like, you know, using something like that. So yeah, like I'm not accustomed to that. So <laughs> I need to keep that in mind. So it's like, uh, what do you call it? A strategy battle kind of. You know, it's not just like power mashing. Uh, it's, it's it's kind of like a strategy battle. You can like win if you can use play your cards correctly, even if that person is leagues above you. Uh, not always, but most of the times. <coughs> all right. So okay. So this uh, episode. Um, first of all, uh, one thing I was really surprised is the. Uh, 
I forgot his name, uh, Pyron's master. He only, he just lost like that. I was not expecting him to lose just like that, like in, with one punch. Like, you know, he did something called the satellite punch or something, you know, and he just lost. I really was not expecting that. Like, you know, I thought maybe like they were going to like fight for five or six minutes and then something would happen. It's just like he got one punched into submission. And uh, yeah, and then uh, we get to see N. Now, uh, I was thinking like, you know, like I was thinking like uh, maybe it's an illumination. Uh, what the hell? Illusion, <laughs> I was thinking illumination. <laughs> maybe it's an illusion um, that's actually like, you know, like making him, making N like this. It's kind of correct so that actually means like so that means none of his children knew that n was a normal guy like that like damn like <laughs> like <laughs> it's kind of correct like you know like uh, who said that i think uh someone said that that you you don't even <laughs> trust your own children wow like this like talk about being cautious <laughs> anyways and um so yeah like he was he has been doing this for so long and his determination never re uh, wavered up until now but today i think like you know like you know what i think like what actually happened like seeing ren like this you know you know i think n also kind of like just when he like realized that yeah his friends actually came to help him and they help they're helping him and fighting against me i think that probably wavered his determination because he never thought that something like this could ever happen because as i said like ren and n they have similar problems you know the problem that ren had not trusting anyone doing everything on their own thinking that yeah like being alone is supposed to be like you know make me stronger not like you know showing weakness to others those kind of things like like the same things are, are with him as well with n as well the same problems are with him so basically i'm sure like n also realized that like me and ren they're similar and whatever problems he has i also similarly kind of have has that problem that's why probably he kind of like you know placed his bets on ren and <clears throat> like you know like actually believed that yeah ren would like carry out my legacy and like now suddenly confronting a situation like this seeing that ren who is supposed to be similar to him found friends found people he can rely on and they were actually fighting for him i think he must have a, 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 you know the the ideals that he like kind of followed up until now a, a crack started for, forming in them i'm sure he must have thought at some point at that moment that maybe maybe i was wrong you know maybe whatever i'm doing is wrong maybe my thought process that yeah like Everyone has betrayed us, so everyone is evil. We have to do everything alone. Maybe that is wrong. Maybe there are people who will help us if we, you know, like if we actually find those people, just like Ren had found those people. Maybe I can also find people like that. I'm sure something like this struck, like, you know, went in his mind, was going on in his mind at that moment. And that was what actually, you know, started making his uh, determination falter and the whole oversoul went down you know but still he was unable to accept the fact and he still decided to like you know go and fight against uh, ren but ren was pretty confident you know he, he went full force with his oversoul and his determination was perfect whereas n's determination was wavering at that moment moment so again when he tried to do the over, like you know like bring out the dragon and like fight against him he he was unable to do anything and like in the end like the grandfather and the mom had to come in and stop the fight so i'm sure something like this happened because like you know it's it's tiring it's tiring to always like keep this kind of a mentality like yeah i'm alone i'll have to do everything alone like you know it's it's mentally straining tiring it is so like i'm sure like you know he also must have felt sometimes that i wish i had someone with me who i could you know share my troubles with who i can confide in with but he i'm sure he kind of like you know let that out of his mind and again 
keep like, like bring back his unwavering determination of yeah i am alone i'll have to do everything alone but seeing his son who is supposed to be similar to him like this having friends his determination completely went down and he actually realized that yeah maybe i am wrong you know and yeah that's that's how they won and like i have to say like i'm happy with this result because if this was some kind of you know like you know like similar thing like you know like oh like we suddenly powered up we suddenly started fighting you know like we are losing but still you know through power of friendship we stood up and like won the match like that would be <laughs> you know not good so i'm happy that it is like you know there's actually a reason behind what happened in today's episode because defeating n is impossible at least the stage they are in so yeah like there is actually an explanation how they were able to defeat him so i'm i'm glad about that you know like there's not some generic like friendship power thing that's happening <laughs> so yeah all right um what else one thing i'm confused why the hell is the dragon's face like that <laughs> like as like is, is there some kind of reason behind that like, like the dragon is a dragon but the face is like i don't like maybe there's some reason behind that i don't know but yeah anyway oh and <laughs> i don't know why the grandpa bring <laughs> pulls out a gun like <laughs> that's that weird <laughs> i'm not expecting that like you know he suddenly brings out a gun and <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> and uh, and this is also the first time we see the mom. His mom is pretty tall, isn't she? Yeah, like Yeah, she she's pretty tall. She's very tall, I have to. I think she's even taller than uh N. I'm not sure. Probably. Yeah. Something like that. Like like it's not on like you know she's very tall i have to most probably must be six you know six feet five inches six feet six inches something like that or maybe even taller than that i don't know but she looks very tall <laughs> or maybe like she's wearing some kind of high heels or something i don't know something but yeah and uh okay one thing another thing i have to check out here is the thing that uh the grandfather was talking about uh the good and the evil here it is you are correct we have killed countless of people for the sake of the tao family most people most uh just a sec would consider evil these days but good and evil have little meaning in an ever-changing world okay little meaning behold the boundless lands of china the wild mountains beautiful by day become a world of shadows by night good and evil the definitions are subject to rapid change just like how light and darkness beauty and ugliness okay so yeah i kind of like uh like i thought maybe i was missing something so yeah like what i said before that's basically what he is saying like good and evil is subjective that's what he's saying and it is not only subjective it is bound to change it's ever changing so something that you know like in our what do you call it like in it in, in our generation in our time the thing that we like, perceive as evil probably in a different time it mean, meant something else i'm sure he is most probably talking about you know um the wars or everything that they fought you know like killing people and all that like they i'm sure like during their time when they were young you know the grandfather and the dad when they were young like they had like it, it was like a uh, what do you call it doggy dog world kind of thing and now it's like all peaceful but at that moment it was like uh like kill or be killed kind of situation something like that so like you had to kill if you wanted to survive something like this must like he must be denoting something like that i'm not sure but like you know like that's what probably he's saying by the fact like you know the sentence that he says that it is ever changing like as generations go by as time goes by the 
meaning of different things changes and so you know like so that's what like you know like so they're considered to be evil now but probably when they were there they like you know like they must have done these kind of things for some other reason some like you know like other things like some other like ever like changing reason must have been there for them actually doing this kind of stuff as he's saying so that's what he's saying so yeah like i can kind of understand that you know like as i said like now it's peace times but who knows maybe in the past they were involved in a situation which made them forced to kill people or something like that like just like he says like it's ever changing and it's also subjective at the same time like you know like if you know the person who's standing here if he sees something evil from this side maybe a person who's standing on the other side may see it as good from their side all these kind of things so yeah that's what he's basically saying and i think shaman king is like you know like this whole thing of subjectiveness is really uh i don't know like i get this feeling that th this show has that kind of a theme you know like like whatever you are perceiving it it might be good it might be a bad but it's subjective so just like ren you know like when he came uh, you know the came in the story we kind of thought him to be evil but now that we know his situation we can like you know sympathize with him and actually realize like what's happening and why he did those things it does not like negate his sins but we can kind of you know uh, empathize with him now and we actually know what is the problem that's kind of like that so yeah <clears throat> Okay, is there anything else okay and in the end we see them actually giving the uh, what was what did he call that sword um just a sec uh the jewel thunder sword our family most precious heirloom sword okay and I, I, you know like giving that sword to him kind of shows that he actually supports him so that's good like i was i was thinking this was going to end in a different way you know maybe he's going to defeat his dad his dad would be punished or something or killed like i was thinking all of these kind of things but i'm, I'm glad to see like you know they kind of ended it in a peaceful in a good note and his dad is actually not as bad as we thought him to be he's bad definitely the things that he did are not good but still as i said like you know as and as the grandfather said like everything's subjective everything is ever changing good and bad so like in that way we cannot probably judge people in this situation so i'm glad that you know everything got okay and ren is free of the shackles now he can do what he want to and no one will stop him and he will not be bound with the like you know like my i have to do this because i'm from tao family all these kind of nonsense he won't have to do so yeah he can be himself now so yeah that's great so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to shaman king episode number 12 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day